Hello, this is Robert with Beyond 20. Today we're working in ShareWell version 5. And if you've ever wondered how to change the timeout setting for the ShareWell portal, well, then you're watching the correct video. By default, the ShareWell portal will automatically log out the user after 20 minutes of inactivity. Basically, once you're logged into the portal, if you sit idle for 20 minutes, it's going to force you to log in again the next time you click on any links or buttons. Now, this may be fine for certain organizations, However, if you need to change it, there are two different places that need to be updated. Once ShareWell is updated with the correct setting, IIS must also be updated to reflect the change. So let's go ahead and find out where that setting's at here in ShareWell. If you go to the browser and mobile category in the ShareWell administrator orange pill, Then on the right hand side, click on Browser Application Settings. You'll see here, ShareWell calls it Session Timeout. This is essentially how long the session is going to remain active uh, during inactivity periods. So by default, it's 20 minutes. Let's say that we want to bump this up to 30. Make the change here directly in ShareWell and click OK. Now, ShareWell has been updated, however, IIS must also be updated to reflect that change. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and open up IIS Manager. And then on the left-hand side, select the connection. We'll expand that out. And then go to the Application Pools. Depending on which version you're working in with uh, ShareWell, this might be named slightly differently. In this current version that we're on in version 5, you'll see ShareWell Portal. So go ahead and highlight that, and then on the right-hand side, click Advanced Settings under Application Pool. We want to look for the idle timeout in minutes value. This is going to be under the process model. You'll see under my screen here, this has already been expanded out for us. If you don't see the idle timeout in minutes, you'll have to open up the process model. And let's change this value in here to match what we inputted into ShareWell directly. Once that's done, click OK. So just to recap, it was the ShareWell portal application pool that we updated. Uh, sometimes it might be called ShareWell, depending on which version of ShareWell you're running. In this current version, it was broken out into a separate application pool. Once that's done, we Type in IIS reset and let that process run. So it's been stopped and restarted again, and that's all we need to do. So next time you log into the portal, if you wait the 30 minutes, you'll see that your session will not expire until the 30 minutes has passed. Uh, so once again, this was Robert with Beyond 20, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for additional ShareWell tips and tricks, and thanks for watching.